Besides being among the biggest legends of all time, Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Janis Joplin are also members of one of rock's most tragic clubs. The surprisingly high number of famous musicians who died at the far too young age of 27. We'll introduce you to this large, and sadly still growing fraternity, and tell you why experts think so many rock stars died at exactly this age, in this episode of You Think You Know Classic Rock? While the specifics of these untimely deaths obviously vary from case to case, the underlying story is often the same. The pressures of sudden fame, the stresses of a grueling life on the road, and the seductive, deceptive escape of alcohol and drugs, now easily obtained due to newfound wealth, prove too much for these still very young people to handle. Both Joplin and Hendrix died after mixing alcohol with drugs. The deaths of Morrison and another famous member of the 27 Club, founding Rolling Stones guitarist Brian Jones, are surrounded by some degree of mystery, as they were found dead in a bathtub and a swimming pool, respectively. But few would argue against substance abuse playing a significant role in each of their demises. Liver damage caused by excess drinking also took Grateful Dead keyboardist Pigpen from us at age 27. And alcohol abuse contributed to the death of founding Stooges drummer Dave Alexander at the same age. And while it's important to note that drugs and alcohol weren't always involved in these cases, they were a factor for a majority of the departed rockers on this list, which also includes blues pioneer Robert Johnson, Nirvana leader Kurt Cobain, Badfinger star Pete Ham, Canned Heat frontman Alan Wilson, Chris Bell of Big Star, and many, many more. In 2012, researchers from the Center for Public Health at Liverpool John Moores University studied the lives of nearly 1,500 music stars. They determined that on average, these artists were only 87.6% as likely to live as long as so-called normal people of the same age and ethnicity. 9.2% of these musicians died during the 50-year period covered by this survey, and 39% of those deaths were caused by factors related to violence or alcohol and drug intake. But exactly why does this happen? Howard Suness, author of a fascinating book entitled 27, A History of the 27 Club, notes that most of the 50 artists he listed as members of the 27 Club endured strikingly difficult childhoods, and suggests that those emotional lives helped inspire them both to express themselves through music and to turn to drugs and alcohol as an escape. As the Moore study suggests, the high number of rockers who die at young ages brings into question whether even almost limitless resources in adulthood can undo the impacts of adverse childhoods. In fact, it could be argued that the wealth obtained so early in these rock star lives, and the removal of much of the need to adhere to society's standards of good, responsible behavior, actually made these musicians much more susceptible to addiction and tragically early deaths. But there's reason for hope. Despite relatively recent additions to the 27 Club, such as Cobain and pop star Amy Winehouse, the study indicates that the increasing professionalism and career focus of those entering the music industry is actually helping to reduce the number of lives the rock lifestyle claims every year. Let's hope that trend continues. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more episodes of You Think You Know Classic Rock? Meanwhile, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out more of the best in classic rock coverage on ultimateclassicrock.com.